Hello again, it's Charles and Edison, and we're with the Build and Bond channel. Uh, we just did an episode where we built a birdhouse, and this is episode two. We're just going to show you some of the things we do to finish up the birdhouse. Um, I'm going to give instructions, and Edison's going to take the video for right now, and then we'll switch up. So, first, what we did is we got some of the materials that we needed. Mm -hmm. um, we used a three-quarter inch dowel. It's a wooden dowel. And we made a three-quarter inch hole in there. And then we cut down the draw dowel to about two inches. And we glued the dowel into the hole. Uh, we didn't drill all the way through because we wanted it to have something to be against. We let the glue dry and now we got a really solid perch for the birds. Now we're going to seal up all these spaces here with caulk. Uh, I prefer Alex Plus. It's an uh, all purpose caulk and it works really good. It's water washable so it doesn't get stuck on your hands and stay on for as long. I don't really like the total uh, silicone cocks because they just are really messy and hard to clean up after. So all we do is we cut the tip at a 45 degree angle and we put it in our caulk gun and we'll just squeeze the trigger. It fills in that gap and then I'll go back through with either my finger or a putty knife and I'll just drag it across there and that'll make that nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that to all the spaces where we can see darkness in between. Try to wipe off any excess. And then when we paint this, there won't be gaps that stick out. It'll all look like it's uniform and filled in. Mm-hmm. And then so the birds, it won't have light, but the circle will yep. like that. And it will help to insulate it too because the air won't get through them gaps. So we got them sides. So let's switch it over and we'll do this side. That way this will be a bird mansion. I'm doing the same thing. Just filling these gaps. And then I'll go through and Wipe it off, smooth it out, and Edison after this will be spray painting it with primer. Mm -hmm. that, that'll be fun. So again, I said this is a water clean up really easy you don't got to worry about getting it on your hand um, and it'll help it to look better and I got a couple more angles that I'm gonna do way right back here you can also take and fill in these little indentations where your nailer hit made divvies and that'll just make it look smoother. This is a dry deck spackling. You can also use this for doing that, filling in them holes. This one goes on pink and dries white. And that stuff is able to be sanded, so that works really good. I don't see many more divvies or excess clock on there and I 
wipe down most of our excess it ain't gonna be nothing totally beautiful but it is something I made with my son and so that is something that makes it really special mm -hmm. and we also get to enjoy seeing the birds come and nest in something that we made for them so in this next part I'm gonna cut a piece of this brown paper helps to not make a mess of the new floors and we will set our birdhouse up on that I'm gonna hold the construction paper down with some pieces of excess board we got here and then Edison will be painting before we do that we shake the primer kind of a windy day so it's not the best day to do this but we're doing the best we can with the conditions we got so what way is it? the wind's blowing this way kind of so we want to stay out of the way of the wind I'm going to show them how to do it first you don't want to inhale this so it is nice that it's a windy day because it's going to blow right away from us get your head back so when I spray I usually do nice, gentle, short spurts, and I go right across it in an even pattern. So, hop over and do this side over here, Hetty. Here you go. Make sure the arrow's pointing away from you and towards what you're wanting to be at. Nope, not that close. You want to be about eight inches away, so about this far away. There you go. Okay, ready? Oh, hold on. You're in the wind. You want to be on this side. So we'll just turn it around a little bit. That way it's not blowing right in your face. Eddie's coming in. A little bit too close because you're getting streaks. There you go. Yep, right there. Kind of hard to push down on. There we go. Yeah, you'll give it another spurt. And the top, my van could use some misting of some new paint. And then the front. Looks like we might get a few streaks. It's just primer and just something to protect it, so not a big deal. So that's what it looks like. Hand it over to Eddie. And if we get too many streaks, I'll get a piece of towel and wipe them down. And we can respray it if it gets too bad. Get any other big streaks? That little one over here. So, over on that side, buddy, so it doesn't go in your face. And I spray it on light and keep it a little bit away from it. Now it's a white house. Yeah, now we got a bird that's living on the hill in the white house. 
again? This is going to be presidential material after he goes through a, another couple seasons. Mm -hmm. He's got to be better what we got in the office right now. So. So that's a coat of primer on it and we sealed all the gaps so we're not seeing much darkness or any gaps in there so it looks good. Bird's going to be living it up in style. Have a nice well insulated place for its nest to be. And over there we had put a piece of one by one in the ground and we made sure it was nice and level and we are going to take some screws and fasten our birdhouse to the pole and it will be up and we'll send you a little video of it once it's totally up just to show you what it looks like once it's done but thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time on building bond and uh, we appreciate you watching our channel god bless